Hello guys, and today we're going to be looking at the new Farming Simulator Gameplay Trailer 2, Tending to Animals. So I'm going to play it for you guys first, and then I'm going to replay it, and pause it in important points. I've looked at it a couple of times now, and I'm still finding more little bits and bobs about the place to talk about. And once we've the trailer looked at, we will then hop over to the website, and we'll look at the new vehicles they have announced that will be in the game. Um, there will be a link in the description to this trailer and to the Giants website if you want to check it out for yourself. So without further ado, here is the trailer and sorry I can't be full screen, I am not prepared, prepared for this, so this is what I got. Peggy 3 Whoa, this Peggy tree is taking a long time. Farming Simulator 17 available on October 25th on PC and consoles. Great. So I believe the 25th of October is a win Tuesday. A Tuesday. So bad release day. Uh, I'm gonna try and live stream it that night or the night before, but it really is a bad night because I'll be back to college and I won't be around. So up and down. Uh, anyway, so let's rewatch the trailer. We'll give a look at the new stuff in just a moment, if you want to skip ahead a bit and try and find it. So, um, here we go. So there's a number of there's a number of things I spotted, and I don't know if that turns down the for you, but it turns it down for me a bit. So, we've got our tending to animals. So we have our chickens. And chickens are going to be in the game, but not to the same extent. You can't buy or sell chickens. So you just have chickens and they lay eggs. You can still collect them and sell the eggs. But 
they're not a thing anymore. They should have never been a thing. And I like it better this way. I did, you know, I just don't like the idea of having chickens in that sense. So we've got, what's that? Immersions, Immersions, Livestock Market, so this is where you buy all your animals, your cows, your pigs, and your sheeps. And as we can see, you have to transport them from here to um, their holding bin or whatever you want to call it. So we can see that this Joskin Trader has a capacity of nine pigs. Can we turn it? We're going to turn this way down. That's what we're going to do for you guys. Uh, so that's not a whole lot of pigs. If you're buying like a hundred pigs at the start of a game where you're just like spamming in money or something, that's ten trips. That's a lot of trips. Now as we saw later in the trailer, there is a bigger trailer, but even so. Spamming in animals just became a bit har harder. So in this picture, we can see, oh, I really want to make a full screen, we can see the new HUD. So this is the style. We can see that they have half a million euros euros made in their save game good for good for giants and I don't like this I rather the old one with the bar going around I don't like the dots I don't know why they have a new tractor because it's only been going for one hour which is actually a lot and they have a trailer full of nine pigs and mirrors are working pretty good I would say I wish they were a bit bigger if they could only work on the mirrors to make them like your trucks. But moving on, we can see that there are sunflowers and the sun is behind them or something. So generally this direction. We've got a train which you will be able to drive in this game for transporting grains and things across the map because the map is must be quite expensive to say that you need a train. I can only presume that it's going to be a very big map with very little fields or something or big fields spread out. We can see we have sheep and the train station is going to be very near the sheep farm good for wool I guess maybe you can presume I can't make that out not in this resolution oh well we can see that they can get a camera inside the trailer I don't know exactly how Whoa, easy so very important part I think personally um, the tail lights of the tractor so he's braking there and we can see the tail lights of the tractor on the trailer quite distinctively I mean like very distinctively and if you look around there in the shot as well you can see that the beacons are reflecting very well so they've worked on the lighting a lot and the lights themselves and it's looking very good in my opinion right now for the lighting because the lighting in 15 wasn't very good or isn't very good as, as I should say um, there's your scene across the way actually nearly set up and there's actually the other scene <laughs> that I just noticed. So I'm going to go back there just two seconds. So have a look out for the lights here now in the scene. You can see the beacons reflecting off of the top of the trailer. Um, looks like they have some kind of different texture from mud. Maybe there might be some kind of mud in the game. Now here's a very interesting part for you guys who are like more realism. The well not the farmers walk. I just noticed that. Wow, it's not bad. As things go for farm seminar. So here is what I was actually talking about. So watch the suspension on the tanker as he fills up. It's slowly dropping. So, um, we can see that there's some suspension physics going into this because I never noticed a tanker going down when I fill it up with slurry or anything in 15. Well, I spread it a bit of slurry like. So, that's improved. And that is a 730 litre tank, which translates to 1600 gallons, as I would know it. So, that's a, that's a 1600 gallon tank. That's how I would understand it. Um, anything else I can pick out? Nothing new here or interesting. So
so most of you guys will probably know about the straps on the bear chairs that actually work so you have to get off now and you can strap down your wheels and not have any problems with them falling off and everything will be great hopefully moving on to the cows here now whoa whoa so we have a new diet feeder brand we're gone away from coon i believe it was to sil oking slock soil that we'll just go with that so after getting a new brand we'll see that actually in the um, new vehicle releases today so he's undone the straps and he's going to put in some bales but there's something slightly interesting in just a moment bales still m magically disappear whoa pause so this bale is hanging off of the bale trailer but it's still on I'm not too, too sure what's going on here um, are we gonna have bad bale physics or not great bale physics again who knows don't believe it's resting up against the pole or the fence so who knows what's going on with those locking scripts we can see that this has two small wheels in the back so we're gonna have like a rear wheel steer kind of thing I'm guessing gonna be interesting Uh, the cows come over and eat, they all just did that maybe it's affected by the actual timing now of stuff being in there and finally very importantly we have a new bale shredder straw blower whatever you want to call it that can take square bales properly we needed this I mean square bale straw oh, how do I fit this in before and uh, it looks like it can take like four or five, you know, you can just plop them up there and they'll eventually go in like, you know. Yeah, it could definitely fit two in anyway. And let there be straw. And we have a man truck. Did we have the man truck? No, we only had lizard trucks. So this hasn't been announced in their things as of yet that I know of. So we've got the man... TGS 18.480 so we can presume that's 480 horsepower truck and we have a trailer I'm not going to even try to pronounce that the AM19 capacity of 19 or 21 pigs sorry and as we've seen from before it has this weird pop up roof for some reason to release the back of the door looks like it should have a second story so pigs um load so is that a capacity or telling them how many they have hmm it's a good question no that's, that's how many pigs you have and then they're loaded into the trailer i don't see how many how he could uh here's also the mini map very important so that's the style of the mini map so you'll get to see all your equipment so we can presume that that's the all the stuff that they had laying around uh... very interesting you can see it's a very wide open map as well from that mini map so how do you choose you just load a full trailer there's no yeah load five of them hmm. oh what did that message say that could have been interesting do you really want to load 21 animals this vehicle? Okay. Okay, so... Maybe you can't unload them once you've loaded them, since they're fully fattened. To be sold. There should be a second story in that truck, there really should be. There is a such thing as uh, double story animal trailers. Especially for pigs and sheep. Since they're a lot shorter. And once again, coming October 25th can't wait um, so moving on uh, that was a good trailer we got some decent information out of it about bio physics and some new equipment 
uh, but we're going to go to games and there's nothing going to be new in features is there new no okay so as you can see this is expanded vastly so we've got weights from AGCO and we've got a half ton or greater than a half ton but almost half ton weight and a one and a half ton weight and more weights coming <laughs> a one ton weight I presume uh, nothing new from Amazon oh, I haven't actually checked these out um, nothing new from Bergman uh, this is new but it's not new at the same time it's the Ben Brenner Brenner I never pronounced the name of that ever Brenner and it's same capacity as before so you know the, the terrible first year we always get then we've got Bridler Bridler so we've got a manure shaker, shaker from them 24 meters working width 4000 liters capacity pretty standard not no new headers from Eplo no new tractors from Case no new tractors from uh, Caterpillar uh, do we have that? no we didn't actually have the specs and things except in the pictures so we have got the new Deitzfair 9 series with, with uh, between 295 horsepower and 336 horsepower still got a 60k box very good looks amazing looks amazing moving on we've got uh, not Husqvarna I don't want Husqvarna uh, nothing new from DFM um, Farm Farm Tech we've got a new trailer from them I think I wasn't here last time I don't think 1500 litres nice second trailer this is going to be the second trailer in the game guaranteed and I'm already loving it uh, I believe this came out on the gold um, DLC or whatever it's called uh, looks like a nice trailer except for the tent on top that's the only problem a bit too tall perhaps no new tractors for Fent nothing new from Flegel from last time that is did we have this Grimmy did we have all this two meters working is this potatoes yeah potatoes sewing machine for bit so yeah all the player stuff from Grimmy Horsh we've got a new cultivator from him the um, Tarone 5 FM 5 meters 4.8 meters working with actually 200 horsepower required how much 270 horsepower for him just wondering Harleman are still in it still holding strong and they're giving us the old what's it called again MXT4i which was actually not very good because nobody got it ever uh, 110 to 127 horsepower 40k box only should be 50 but sadly not Husqvarna nothing new JCB nothing new Joskin nothing new uh, sorry not Joskin John Johnster Joskin we've got a muck spreader new muck spreader which 15 meters working with 1900 years capacity 130 horsepower required I like the look of it a lot they still haven't announced the slurry tank which we actually saw on the trailer and we basically know everything about it that it's uh, 1700 l or 7300 litres capacity and requires like probably 50 horsepower or something to pull it. Uh, nothing new from that brand, <laughs> nothing new from Crampy, nothing new from Agriliner, nothing. Was Kuna? No, Kuna gave me a plow. They haven't released the straw blower information, uh, which we saw in the trailer also. Uh, Converter Land are giving us a cedar and a cultivator. Uh, what's the working with? Three mirrors working with. Probably one of the first cedars you'll get. 75 horsepower required. Very nice. Is this Limken? Limken, yes, it is. So they're giving us a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 for a plow. We're working with of 4.9 meters. 240 horsepower required. Yeah, that sounds about right. And we knew about this cultivator already, I believe. Lizard, 
are still giving us trucks. The man truck is not announced yet. So wow, there's a lot of stuff to be announced. Yet I presume. Man two are still not giving us anything new. They're finished. We're just getting their telehandler. Uh, nothing new from them. Nothing new from New Holland. Come on, New Holland. Stick with your name. Ponger, nothing new. Uh, Ponzi, still got the forestry and your... Is Pon Ponzi not giving us any more? That's all the other goes, actually. Never mind. Uh, nothing new from them. Zetter. Sorry, I, I, I don't know. I've never actually had a Zetter in this game. So, they're giving us a, a major... With 75 horsepower, guess what that's going to be? That's going to be our starting tractor, <laughs> for sure. 75 horsepower, 40k box. It'll do in a pinch. Might have a loader bracket. Uh, we've actually had seen no loaders for tractors yet. Uh, were they new? I don't know. Veltra, nothing new. Were they? They were. CERN? S-U-E-R, sewer. I don't know how to pronounce that. So the standard weights that we already have. So we've got the 700 kg, the 1 ton and the 1.6 ton. So we've got a battle of the weights here. Because whew, they're like basically all the same. Uh, Steyr. Nothing new there. And Safford. Nothing new there. So we've gathered a bunch of new equipment. Uh, we know about a bunch more because we've seen it in trailers and yep looking pretty good So that's it. Thank you everybody for watching um, Please like and subscribe if you like this video and stay tuned for more updates on Farm Sim 17 as they come out or Almost as they come out and if you like watching Farm Sim videos to give my news World farm um, Series a look it might interest you but until the next update. We'll see you then. Bye guys